Hi boys and girls, it's Miss H again. Today we are going to do a small activity, um, a caterpillar. All right, let's get started. Right. You may need, you will need, is a green paper, a red paper, and maybe a white paper. And tape. Something round that is for you to trace, scissors, and maybe markers or crayons. Okay? If you have your red and your green paper, you will need like six or seven uh, green and one red circle. And you will trace them. This, you're going to use it to trace. It could be a top. It could be... Um, anything that's round about this big, and you're gonna go ahead and trace them, okay? Now you cut out all your green circles. Okay, now you're going to take two of your green circles and something small that's round. I use a water bottle top and you're going to trace in there on one, one circle, trace one on each circle of the two circles. You have two circles and two little holes in them. So you're going to tape them on the back. I just taped it. That way your fingers will fit like this. See, now lay it down and get your other green circles and lay them around like if the shaping a worm. Caterpillar. Or a caterpillar that's uh, got its body going up. be attaching the head. Now you will cut two, two yellow circles and two green smaller circles for the eyes. You can glue or tape the eyes, whichever is easier for you. And the nose is a green triangle. You can use little scraps of material or paper you have left. And again, you can either glue it or tape it on the face. Now for the antennas, I have pipe cleaners, but you can do it out of paper too. I'm just gonna cut a piece off, fold it in half, and then tape it behind the red face the antenna to the back of the head. Now your caterpillar's ready to walk. Okay, bye boys and girls. See you next time for the next project. Goodbye and be safe.